Do you love the music by Trigger, Undead, or even Quell and Lolo D? Do you know who are behind those songs? The ones that create the wonderful worlds you experience in those? In this episode, you and I are going to talk about two absolutely amazing composers, Tomohiro Nakatsuchi and Takeshi Hama. Let's kick off this episode of Sayu Lounge. Welcome to Seoul Lounge, I am your host Vanessa and today's topic is 2D music composers and their quirks, Takeshi Hama and Tomohiro Nakatsuchi. As I've mentioned in the previous episode, it's time to dive into the composers that are behind the music that you love. I do not know about you, but I love to get to know who is behind the music, especially when I love how a certain song was composed and to check if they have done similar work in the past. At the same time, I love when composers are so crafty that with music alone, you can understand the stories that are developing there. Well, these two composers bring a little bit of both things to me. Are you a fan of cinematic compositions that blend the best of electronica and orchestral music? Do you love music that tells a story even without the help of lyrics? If you do, then Takeshi Hama is the music composer you should follow closely. Takeshi Hama started his work in the music industry as an arranger. He started to make a big impression as one of the composers and arrangers for the soundtrack of the popular action game Devil May Cry. After that, he lent his talents to the Super Mario Brothers and Legend of Zelda games franchises. Yes, he is one of the composers credited with the soundtrack of what is, currently, one of the best-selling games of all time, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It was only in 2016 that Takeshi Hama would start lending his talents as a composer to 2D music groups, kicking off composition for Quell in the Tsuki Pro franchise. And that's when he started to leave fans of 2D music quite impressed. And why is that? His compositions are extremely complex, mixing orchestral and chamber music with electronica and rock, creating vivid, cinematic compositions that speak for themselves. You can always expect his compositions to start in a subdued, slow-paced and intense way, building up their energy with breathy, dreamy scenes helping set the tone for what is waiting for you. Even when you are not expecting, delicate strings make their way into Hama's compositions, painting beautiful soundscapes regardless if the songs themselves are solemn and dark or upbeat and perky. As far as music genres, he is best known for embracing and taking inspiration from orchestral and chamber music, which are two music genres that play a massive role in his composition style. This is something that arrives from his vast experience composing music for Nintendo's biggest games. The piano is his playground and it is through that instrument that his compositions first take shape. But Takeshi Hama also brings more up his sleeves. Electronica, especially down-tempo, plays a big role in Hama's dreamy, crystal-clear and cinematic soundscapes. Rock, R&B, hip-hop, funk, disco and pop elements are also found a little bit all over his compositions, but where Hama excels it's truly in creating orchestral arrangements, taking us all on a fantastical and vivid journey. All these influences, plus the fact that he was, originally, a soundtrack composer, lead him to create deeply layered, complex and intricately beautiful songs that feel like opening a treasure box, with everything you pick up being always new to you. This is something I deeply love about Hama's compositions. 
There is so much going on in them, yet everything is so clear. This is not easy to achieve and requires a lot of sensibility to the music genres he composes in, as well as ridiculously good mixing and arranging skills, which he also has from early on in his career. To top it all off, Takeshi Hum is not only a skilled arranger, mixer, but also an outstanding composer. He is also a lyricist for Quell, as well as their exclusive composer and arranger. And this is where he stands out the most out of all composers I'll be covering in the coming episodes. In a way, the composer that comes really close to Hama's ridiculous versatility is Ron, and that is yet another reason why he is another impressive composer for me in my top two best composers for 2D music, alongside Takeshi Hama. With deep knowledge about the vocal side of his music, with the sensibility to how the direction will go, as well as with lyrics that truly explore and complement the fantasy, dreamy soundscapes he creates, it's impossible not to notice how vivid the compositions are. And you can really understand the story, the theme and the tone of the song within the very first notes into it. And the further you get into the song, the better you understand the story in that song. And when you notice, you weren't even paying attention to the vocals. This is something that is even better understood if you happen to listen to the instrumentals of his songs. Addictive Whisper by Lolo D, Heaven's Door by Quell, Oto no Loop by Shu and Dai, and Arata no Color by Tsubasa and Ichiru are fantastic examples of how Takeshihama's compositions speak for themselves in the most varied music genres. You don't need the vocals to understand the story. However, the vocals complement the instrumentals in a way that not only everything is clear, but it is even richer. When you add vocals to his compositions, you always end up with epic performances. He is one of the few 2D music composers that has the luck of having outstandingly talented Seiyu performing his songs, taking his music even further when it comes to impressing everyone. Hama does have a dual tell in his composition style, but I believe this is something not as easily picked up as, for example, Ron's trademark guitar riffs or Satoru Kuwabara's thunderous bass lines. Takeshi Hama's tell is both those smooth strings always present in his music, this one is easily noticeable, as well as the intensity in slow paced music that is a staple of his composition style. This last one I dare say is something you end up training yourself to notice the more you listen to his compositions. But if you pair those strings, or as an alternative, synth stabs and add the down tempo signature to the whole composition, I can assure you that you will find Takeshi Hama's compositions in no time. Takeshi Hama may have arrived a little bit later to the 2D music scene than many of the composers I will be mentioning in this 2D music composer series of podcast episodes, but I can assure you he is by far the best right now. His consistency, the creativity and complexity of his music, and the fact that he never repeats his compositions within the same groups and even between the various projects he is a part of are quite impressive. He is currently one step ahead of all other 2D music composers. Takeshi Hama is the exclusive composer for Quell and Lolo D. He has also composed songs for Tobari, the Vez Rock franchise and, on occasion, for the Neox Slide CD series in the Tsukipro franchise for Solids. Now, if you are a big fan of Trigger, Idolish 7, Zul, all groups in the Idolish 7 franchise, or even Undead, Twink and Akatsuki in the Ensemble Stars franchise, you for sure have come across this composer. I'm talking about Tomohiro Nakatsuchi. 
Tomohiro Nakatsuchi is a prolific composer and arranger, best known for working on music for 2D female groups. However, he does have extensive work with 2D male groups, albeit his work on this side is lesser known in comparison. Nakatsuchi is one of the few composers and arrangers for 2D groups that can say he has worked on a record-setting album. He is one of the arrangers for Trigger's record-setting album Regality. He was in charge of making Daybreak Interlude, the memorable song it is, making the vocals and instrumental resonate in pure harmony. If that song makes chills run down your spine by the time the outro kicks in, well, it was thanks to Nakatsuchi's awesome arrangement skills. Regality was the first ever album by a 2D group to rank number one on Oricon's weekly albums chart. And to this day, it continues to make regular appearances in the top 100 and is one, if not the best-selling album in the Idolish 7 franchise up until now. One thing that Trigger's music has is fantastic arrangements that perfectly suit the vocals of Wataru Hatanu, Soma Saito and Takuya Sato. And Nakatsuchi was back for more composing and arranging for the EDM banger Diamond Fusion, he started to be well known among fans of the Idolish 7 franchise because of that song. Sakura Message, Opus, and Hello Calling by Idolish 7 also feature compositions by Nakatsuchi. He's composed and arranged songs as well for Undead, Twink, Trickstar, Akatsuki, Hyuseitai, all in the Ensemble Stars franchise, and Jupiter and W in the Idol Master Saidem franchise. When it comes to Seiyuu artists, you can find some of Nakatsuchi's compositions on Trignal's Update Today, Takuma Terashima's Sunlight Avenue, Tetsuya Kakihara's Get Over Here, and Tasuku Hatanaka's Real. He's also the mixing engineer in Tasuku Hatanaka's Twisted Hearts. And this is where he shows his expertise in EDM music, going even back to the basics, to the classic synthwave era, and mixing it with a somber, classy piano-led composition to craft what is one of the best songs in 2021 and easily one of the best songs of this decade. Nakatsuchi is a versatile composer and arranger with fantastic attention to detail when it comes to the mixing. I've yet to find a song in which he partakes in any of those creation phases that has any mistakes or weird mixing. So while he is not that well known and not often mentioned, Nakatsuchi is responsible for some of the most iconic CDs and songs ever released by 2D groups and male Seiyuu artists. He composes pop and EDM with more frequency than any other music genre, but as you can see from the 2D groups and artists that I mentioned, you can tell that he has rock, pop, hip-hop, R&B, ballads and even synthwave in his arsenal. So everything is fair game for him. Nakatsuchi's Tell is the big synth stabs mixed with a slow-paced tempo and upbeat composition. This is not something you can instantly notice, but as you listen to more and more of his music, the best you notice the stylish composition style that he has for EDM and dance pop music. While underappreciated, Tomohiro Nakatsuchi is a fantastic composer for 2D groups and Seiyuu artists. Cinematic compositions that are multi-layered and up-tempo. Intense EDM pop music. Two amazing composers that have lent their talents to some of the most iconic 2D groups and franchises. They are both known for their down-tempo compositions and stylish approach to the music genres they are experts in. Orchestral music for Takeshi Hama and Electronica for Tomohiro Nakatsuchi. I hope this episode has sparked some curiosity in you to try and find these composers 
in the 2D groups or 2D music that you love, or just check the work they have done so far to understand their style and see if what I said actually is easy for you to notice in their music. Now tell me, do you have a favorite song composed by Tomohiro Nakatsuchi or Takeshi Hama? If yes, which is it and why? Let me know in the comments on YouTube and remember, leave your comments as complex or as simple as they may be and you can be featured on upcoming episodes of Seiyu Lounge. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this episode and don't want to miss the Hand That Feeds HQ's weekly mail Seiyu and music-related content. I'll return next week with another episode of Seiyu Lounge about two other awesome composers, Akira Takizawa and Satoru Kuwabara. Thank you for listening and see you guys around.